Can I speak with you now? Yes. Huh? Yes. Can I prophesy you? Yes. By the grace of God, can I prophesy you? Yes. Whatever that will be said on this altar, doesn't matter how long it takes. One day you'll see it with your own eyes. The Bible says, God never allowed even a single word of someone to fall down. Amen. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Oh, you hear me? I want to speak with you. Say, I want to speak with you. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Yes. You must not worry about the situation of your child. Eh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You must not worry because it's eating you. Yes. Huh? Yes. The situation of your son, after I pray for you, I mean... You must tell him that after I pray for you, go and tell your child that he's healed. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Go and tell your child that he's healed. And this spirit of death is gone. Amen. And listen, you must pray because you people you are fighting an ancestral spirit. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because your forefathers here, they used to worship some things. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. So, but this grace will locate you and your son will be healed. Amen. Sir, can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? Yeah. Uh, my name is Lino Fernandez and I came from India, Goa, please. I came especially after watching the YouTube for last three, four months and I was planning to come here but I could not come but at the last moment I got it and I take my pastor and we came together and before coming is here my son was the eldest son his name is Manuel Austin Fernandez he was 28 years old last four years the Satan was very badly hitting him and he was totally out of his mind we have admitted him five times in the mental hospitals, but medical science cannot help him. So we, in, in India, we, have, we went with so many pastors, so many brothers for deliverance, but cannot get the deliverance. But the day I reached here, on the day, he started to talk nicely to my wife, he started to take the Bible, he started to pray, and he is now praying with my younger son, with whole family. And this morning and yesterday I sp spoke to him, he's very fine, and I told him that I'm in South Africa, if you're willing to come, he said, yes, we will go together one day. Amen. Amen. And I believe he became fine after yes. you saw the man of God on one-on-one -on -one -on -one session? Yeah, after one-on-one -on -one session, the uh, Apostle Makanesa, mm -hmm told me that your son is still and I believe with that the word which he given me because his word is the powerful word the man of God he spoke and I believe that word heals him. Amen. Amen. Yes. And as the prophet of God has told you the things that are really happening in your life how are you feeling? Yes. I feel so myself very comfortable here that I told yesterday and this morning to my wife that we should come every year at least once a time with our family because where we can see the real word of God and to see the truth where we can learn more things about God which we cannot get in another places. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as the man of God has declared that your son is free, he's totally free. Totally, he is totally free. I have no doubt because I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Father, Abba Father and the Holy Spirit. And I'm free. And now Prophet Andrea has given me green signal. I is done. Satan will never going to terminate him in any more in his life. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks God for bless. the Cherish Ministry. Mm -hmm. Thanks for Apostle Makanis. Thank you for all the ministry who are here. Amen. God bless them. My brother, the good news that are coming to you. Thank you. Oh, you hear me? Thanks. There's a testimony that is coming to you. We need to pray for you. I was looking on the issues of your family. Yeah? Yes, sir. Oh, you hear me? Yes, sir. Everyone is struggling here. Yes, sir. So now you, I will pray for you. You will even this place. You are staying in Jobek. Uh, Cosmo City. Huh? Cosmo City. You will leave this place that you are staying in. Oh, you hear me? 
Yes, sir. There's a better place that is coming, and I'm seeing a business connection. Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I'm seeing a business connection that will lift you up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And there's, there's marriage that is also coming. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Because if you, you wed, are you hearing me? Yes, You'll sir. be the first person in your family to do a white wedding. Yes, sir. No, no, not these funny, funny things that they've been doing. You'll yeah. be the, I'm telling you. I, I, know. I know. You know. Everything, you know? That you, everything that you just said, I know. I'm telling you, I'm just seeing some funny word. You. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me pray. Come here. Let me pray for you. There's a lady there. Sister, you, your situation will be very bad very soon. You, the one who's standing. And remember the name that God gave you. Are you hearing me? Yes, grace. Yes, sir. So this grace will work for you. Amen. But you must pray. I'm seeing a spirit that has been killing people in the family. Eh? Must be careful of high blood. Yes, oh, we, just, we just had because, a death. Yeah. Huh? We just had a death about three just weeks back. Yeah. Three weeks back. Yeah. I'm seeing a spirit that has been killing people yes. with a blood issue. This is high blood. Because yes, sometimes sir. you, it's hitting you on the head. Yes, huh? sir. yes, sir. So you are healed. And this plan of Satan won't work. In Jesus' name, you are free. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not. Okay, my name is Dax Twala. I come from Cosmos City. I received a prophecy. To, I received a number of prophecies today, and I must say that all of them are correct. Why are you saying they're true? Um, foremost, like the man of God uh, alluded to the fact that I am the, uh, uh, the pillar of the family, which is true. Uh, everyone is depending on me, but then by God's grace, like I managed to change the situation of the family. And he also spoke about uh, a business connection that is coming. Well, I just launched, this year I launched a certain business, an automotive business. It's been going well, and uh, I've been planning to extend, believing in God that he's going gonna, he's gonna, to uh, increase me in that particular aspect. So uh, yes, I'm very much aware of that. And then lastly, he spoke about um, marriage. He said I'm gonna be the first person um, to get a proper uh, white wedding. And he said like uh, the previous ones, but we 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 we're not up to standard, which is true. Uh, I was actually talking to my partner last night, and we were, we were planning to. I understand so yeah it is all true how are you feeling right now um i'm very much i'm very much happy i'm an amulated yes, yes you must forgive amen there's an old woman yes huh? yes there's an old woman yes she's a problem it's true very true <laughs> whoever that is against your life this week Say this week, this week. God, must do something. God must do something. These people now, their plan is to kill you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. So, but on your case, because this is a very close person. Are you yes. hearing me? It's true. Forgive. Sometimes when you forgive, they kill you. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes when you forgive, they kill you. Yeah. What do you want God to do for you? Let me ask you that. What do you want God to do for you? To open my way. I'm talking about this person. Yes. Yes. Let God take her. Are you not tired of these people that are busy with yeah. you? Because every time when you're on the edge of a breakthrough, there's a spirit that comes to you every time. Uh, it's true. Huh? 
Et c'est trop. Le Saint-Esprit est utilisé maintenant. Comme quand vous vous réveillez, vous vous trouvez quelque chose. Chaque fois que vous êtes sur l'air comme ça. Oui, c'est trop. So now today, every connection that you're having must work for you. Bring me. And listen, listen, brother, stop giving people money. Let me say it. Stop giving your cousins money. Because every time when you give them money, everything goes down. Are you hearing me? Stop giving these people money. Thank stop. You. Sir? Stand up. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also tell us, um, confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not. Uh, my name is John Sumatunyane. I'm from Tafel Corp, Robustar Line. I'm here to confirm the prophecy is true. Uh, the people I used to trust the most. I was not aware is the people that are killing me. Yes, and I've tried all my best to give the love as much as I can and try to support them through everything. But their plan is to kill me. And when the man of God told you that you must stop giving them money because they're the ones who are plotting to kill you, how, how are you feeling? And were you aware that they're the ones who are... Uh are trying to destroy you? Uh, later, I was not aware, but now since the man of God told me I must stop giving the money, I will do so because it's true. Every time when I reach home, the first thing that comes in my mind is to look after my family. And I go door to door to make sure they have something. If they don't have, then I take out the money and I give them. So not being aware, that what I'm doing, I'm thinking my own grain, yeah. How are you feeling right now after the prophet has spoken to you? Uh, since I come here in Charis, uh, I've seen a lot of miracles. I believe what God has told me, it will come to pass. And by the power of this house, uh, I'll reach my destiny. But I'm seeing a lot of grace that is locating you. I don't know. Maybe it's because you are, you are coming. I don't... Thank you a lot. There was an all night prayer. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. That you have done. Yes, sir. So I want to tell you, it's not law. Yes, sir. It's huh? on, on the it's not 10th law. or 12th on of the 12th. October. Yes, sir. On the 10th. Yes, the Friday of that week. Yes, yeah. sir. So I want to tell you that this is the time that God wants to lift you up. Amen. But you need to be faithful to Him. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because I saw the all night prayer, but there was a spirit yes, that sir. made you to feel like there's nothing that is moving. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I want to tell you, from today, these things will start moving. Thank you, Lord. And there's another one that will do, there will be a very huge difference. It's too, Are you on me? Fridays. Huh? It's this Friday. This Friday. Yes, sir. Give glory to God. It's going to be a huge difference. Thank it, you. It's going to bring a lot of difference. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. But I'm just seeing. Sometimes you are afraid to mention some people's names, but there are people that are monitoring you. Yes, sir. There are people that are monitoring you. That is true, sir. So 
Father, can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? Uh, greetings. My name is Pastor Kamara Lompatlele from Kingdom Harvest Ministries in Rodeport. I've received the word of prophecy from Prophet Andres this Wednesday service. And the, serv uh, the man of God asked me if, or oh, you are saying that he saw a certain grace that is coming upon me, that God is increasing me and... He saw also a all night prayer that I hosted which I felt like it was it did not accomplish its purpose and so on. And he continued to say there is another one which is coming, which I confirmed for it to be this coming Friday. So he said that the level will grow to another dimension. So that is that is really a blessing and the answer to the prayer. And he also mentioned that there are people who are monitoring me, which I also confirmed to be true because I, I recently just separated with my previous spiritual father and he's now fighting me for the church which I've been running for the past seven years so he's now trying to take the church over and just try and deal with me somehow. So I confirm that to be true and I believe the message of prophecy has brought breakthrough and elevation in our lives. How are you feeling right now? I, I feel very blessed, I'm very encouraged, I'm motivated that uh, God is with me. I believe this is an affirmation that I'm on the right direction and I give glory to God. Bring your wife. I want to pray for you. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, sir. There's a spirit in the family that you people, you need to defeat. Yes, Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, sir. Amen. You need to pray against the spirit of divorce. Are oh, you hearing me, sir? Yes, sir. Amen. You need to do what? Pray, Pray against the spirit, spirit of divorce. And now, my sister, they are attacking you. Mm, they are. Yes. Now, the whole of your body is painful. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. I'm hearing some pains also at the back here. Yes. Even here. Yes. Huh? So now, sir, I want to... Please. This issue is an issue of the family. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes. This lady, there are times where she feels tired. Yes. She feels tired. Yes. Oh, Mama? It's true. Because yes. when you sleep here, they are coming. They come. They even took out my rings while I was sleeping. <laughs> Every night, these people are visiting you. Yes. They are feeding you. Others are sleeping with you. Yes. Uh, and now, you don't longer have the love for your husband. Yes, now. It's, yes. True. it's true. Huh? Yes. It's true. You don't love this man anymore. Yes. For you now, your prayer is like, maybe it's better we separate. Yes. And these are the people that if I didn't call you out, today it was your last day, my brother. Yeah. I'm telling you, if I didn't call you, because... I want my to close. I want to go at the, at the back. You people will see you on Sunday. But I felt like it, I was told in my spirit that if I don't call you, this will be your last day together. Wow. Then from there, there will be problems. Because when you're coming here, Satan was looking at you. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. He knows that when you come here, something boom will happen. So I want to tell you today, your enemies will fall for your sake. Thank you, Jesus. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Sir. Your enemies will do what? They will fall for your yes, sake. Yes, sir. And you'll be healed. Thank you. Because normally in the night, these people, they're also trying to take you. They do. Huh? Yes. They're trying to take you. I'm seeing it's like you are trying to fight. Yes. Huh? 
I even almost fell out of the bed. They were pulling me. They were pulling you? Yes. Yes. Sister, even you, there's a spirit that sleeps with you. Stand up. Come out, you demon. Come out. This thing must leave you. Are you a Christian? I wouldn't say. My brother, you must, after I pray for you, oh, you know me? Yes, sir. You must give your life to Christ because this lady, she's suffering. Yes, oh, you know me? Yes, sir. So there's, there's a spirit, as I was telling you, this is the spirit of the family also, of drinking. Oh, you know me? Yes, sir. Drinking and smoking, doing all these kind of things. Yes, so sir. after this, go and give your life to Christ so that this, the life of this lady must be saved. Because if not, we are praying for this one and these same people will come through you. Oh, you know me? Yes, sir. Go and give your life to Christ. You become a Christian. You will see you will defeat these people. You'll stop these alcohol issues. Yes, sir. Okay, my name is Kakhiso Komani. We come from Makapanstad in Northwest. Uh, they just prophesied us about our mental problems and everything they said it was 100% true. Because everything, my marriage is on the rocks, it's almost done. It's almost, she almost left me, not once, not twice, many, many, many times. Very much, I was drinking too much, I was smoking too much. Yeah, and it made me lose appetite. Now I was starting not to love her anymore. Yes. It, I, I had this in a dream last night that something was going to happen and when it happens I was a bit shocked but I knew that this was going to happen. I'm feeling a bit very relieved so that you know they've prayed for us and this would be uh, going forward we know what to do we have to pray we have to uh, my name is Gatleho. I'm from Magabanstad. Uh, the man of God prophesied us and everything he prophesied was true. Because indeed at night I don't sleep at all. People often try to take me, whether it's people or spirits, I don't know. Even about my marriage, my marriage is practically over. So everything he, he said was 100% true, even about my health and about my back because I've been suffering it from it for the whole year. Sometimes I couldn't even walk because of the back. So everything he said was true. And I'm, I'm relieved because if a man of God has seen that, it means it's over. Yes. Um, what I can say to the viewers is that um, have faith in God because what brought us here was faith. I watch Cherish on Facebook most of the time and I've visited once or twice over the years but because I live far I couldn't come but I just, which I just told my husband that you know what let's go because I could see that things were really really bad so have faith in God and God will see